Under fat ugly girl, they call me arm rubber. <laughs> guys we've got plenty to talk about we've got gist here today we've got lots to talk about so please stay with me here in today's video victoria actually talk about her sugar daddy outside the big brother house hmm. we also got gist about ben and chizoba like this one you need to hear this guys double k and his wife there is a little bit you know jealousy right now going on between them hmm. i'll talk about that also we got your one and only zion exposing our girlfriend and what they did guys this one is coming from zion all right so finally we've seen the lee actually going to apologize to chingwe this is the picture you know where she actually walked down to chingwe and tendered an apology even when she knew it was all a setup i will come back to that now victoria has actually unveiled when she was having a conversation at the garden guys she was having conversation with zion and femi and victoria openly said that she actually was dating a foreign guy and he was a the guy was a, a more older than her and it was mainly because of what she was gaining the financial part of the benefit that she was collecting from the guy i kept her in the relationship guys so femi was like so you can now say that you had a sugar daddy she smiled and they both laughed about it right so there was a serious you know unveiling at the diary room just a few minutes ago i saw where double k was asked by big brother about his partner his wife precisely guys now big brother asked him what is going on how are you guys keeping up to the game and what uh, how have you guys been doing according to what kelly unveiled guys kelly said that it has not really been easy because lately you know uh her wife precisely began to feel some kind of jealous you know how she was close to some housemates in the big brother house especially dj flow right so and she knew that uh he knew that uh, it was because of him that she came so she he respect you know her very well and she want to cut boundaries you know uh regardless the fact that there's nothing going on between himself and those people that initially uh, because of the way people are beginning to put more of their you know energy on them trying to find out what is going on between them and the dynamics between them that he thought that he wanted to create a strategy by you know letting people know that you know even he want to go for anybody in the house it would be handy and anita hmm big brother said do you intend on do you intend to lead andy and anita on on the game why you know you are obviously married to you know uh cassia do you think that's going to be a good game for you he said that initially thought about it just to take people's intention or thought out of where himself and cassia is because everything is becoming very tough and he try as much as he comes he can to press keep to keep pressing down you know their thoughts about them and their mindset about them you know regards to their in their plan according to him he said it's not a, a strategy that he doesn't want you know when they come in as a, as a husband and wife they will be so isolated they will not be able to you know uh, express themselves and also uh, bond with other housemates that was the particular reason they choose to come in as bestie and not to let people know that they are actually married so big brother asked him what about toby <laughs> the guy laughed and said although uh it's not new that toby has been after kesia and toby you see toby as just a playboy and he knows he trusts his wife very well and uh he believes that nobody's gonna catch feelings and going on they already know who they are and coming inside the house they know how they can handle things and toby is not he, he, her wife is not the only one that toby has actually asked her so you see toby as a playboy <laughs> all right so um Cassia's sister actually have something to tell you guys. Listen to this why I'll be right back. Hello, good morning everybody. How are you doing? So I want to really appreciate every one of you that have taken their time to vote for my sister and her husband, the double K. 
So the main voting has officially started. Please, if you don't know how to vote, just send me a DM. You are not spending any money. You are not spending anything to vote. Even though you don't have DSTV, you don't have GoTV, you don't have any, you can use your phone to vote. And it's, there is no charge that is pressed to it because that is what most people are afraid of. There is no charges that is pressed to it. Just with your normal phone data, you can vote in peace. So I want to appreciate those that have voted so far. I want to say thank you, thank you for your love. Thank you for voting double K. So if you don't know how to do it, just send me a DM. It's very easy to do. Okay? Thank you, guys. All right, guys. So you're listening to that. Um, happy birthday to your one and only Anita. Anita, today is our birthday. Our beautiful girl, uh, most beautiful girl in Nigeria, year 2018, I guess. So, uh, congratulations to her. I think we are waiting for Big Brother's cake to celebrate Anita's birthday. Her boyfriend so far actually made a breakfast for her and carried the breakfast to the garden to the world, which was so romantic. Anyways, we didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. All right. So the conversation that I, I actually pended at the beginning of the video regarding the explanation of what transpired between Nelly and Chingwe. Now, after yesterday, you know, accusation and all that, which I thought that was a setup for Nelly you know, by Chingwe or Chingwe's gang, uh, because I didn't see that coming. So Nelly was actually, you know, having conversation today, and Nelly said, has it gotten to the extent of calling me an robber in Big Brother's house? Hmm. If probably Big Brother can play the camera so we all can see how the old game was played behind me, because I she believed that it was a setup. And according to her, she said she even have jewelry that she don't wear. She only wear the one, the one particular one that she's her favorite. And she was surprised how Ruti and Chingwe came up with the whole thing that they find jewelry in her paw, in her bag or in her locker. How they came up with those things is something that she was surprised now that Suj already told her that if she should walk up to her and talk to her about it and walk, if, if at all she meet her with, you know, her clique, which is, you know, uh, DJ Flo and Ruti, she should pull her aside and talk about it and resolve the whole issue which she did she went there apologized to her and she heard Chingwe saying that she was that she wants to go and report to big brother or whatever according to her she said that doesn't actually make her to start calling her arm robber because she was so surprised of that kind of action me too i still believe it was a setup all right so there was a little issue that happened between these two people on my screen they said that hmm this girl in question, which is Chizoba, does not really care about Ben so much since yesterday that uh, he she's now pushing more of her, her, her attention to, you know, the Mbadiwe twins, which is OC, which I don't think that is fair. They were able to resolve that issue this morning because Ben was really, really angry that Chizoba does not care about him. Chizoba does not think if she eats or stuff like that or blah, blah, blah. So that was the issue be, be about those two. So Zion just exposed that him and Chingwe actually has done it in the bedroom two days ago confirmed it and even said that they even do it in the room at almost the three days of entering the big brother house and that was so 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 unexpected from zion zion how can you be exposing your woman like this one is kiss and tell or what will i call this one like you say she's your girlfriend or you are you doing a payback you know because of what she said on national tv about you i don't really know about these two people so zion was actually referring talking to femi and she he said to about wani and sean doing it yesterday like i even was so surprised according to him he said ruti went down to the room and had them where they were you know smashing together Hmm, guys, gist everywhere. Like Big Brother, this season is all about sheep. This that, that they should give us good content and give us good dramas. Basketball is what we are expecting. Not every day sheep, every day drama. So Chizoba and her man, you know, uh, Ben have been able to resolve issues between themselves. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in my next one.